Shalom Shalom, everyone, and nearly Shabbat Shalom. Today is Friday. Today is uh, September the 6th. And uh, today is also the third day of the Hebrew month of Elul. And this coming Shabbat, we will be reading from the fifth portion in the book of Deuteronomy, a portion that starts on chapter 16, verse 18. Judges and officers you shall appoint in all your gates. And uh, in actual fact, this portion always falls after the beginning, after the first, after the new moon, the beginning of the Hebrew month of Elul. Elul is the one month coming before the month of Tishrei. Tishrei is the month of the high holidays, the beginning of the year, uh, Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacles, uh, the Holy Convocation at the end of Feast of Tabernacles. We have about three weeks of high holiday season uh, in the month of Tishrei. The month of Elul, which we are now in, comes always before the month of Tishrei, and it is all always dedicated to be some kind of a preparation, a spiritual preparation, a spiritual time for cleansing, inner cleansing, before we stand before our Maker on the high holiday season. Uh, the month of Elul um, is uh, is uh, is a month with a lot of uh, with a lot of rituals, with a lot of services, special services, all uh, all with the purpose of helping us to cleanse ourselves uh, before the high holidays. The portions that we find, starting from the book of, of Deuteronomy all the way to this one here, is are actually very interesting in terms of the beginning of each portion. The, the, the first portion in Deuteronomy, that's Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 1, that starts with these are the words or these are the things that Moses spoke to the children of Israel, etc., etc. These are the things. The, the, the introduction of the book of Deuteronomy is about these are the things. This is what things are about in life, if we want to take it to a broader context. Following that, we have the second portion of, 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 in the book of Deuteronomy, which starts on chapter 3, verse 23. And then I pleaded with the Lord in that time, saying, and now we hear about, about how Moses pleaded with the Lord to make him, to, uh, to give him the permission to come into the land. A, a pleading. Pleading is an action we do with our mouth. It's about our verbal abilities. It's about our ability to take a thought or a desire or a wish and, and put it into words, let alone putting it in a form, in a format of prayer. That's the second portion of Deuteronomy. The third portion of Deuteronomy, it, is, it begins on chapter 7, verse 12. And it, and it shall be because you will take heed, you will listen to the, you will hear, sorry, the, to, to these judgments and you shall keep them and do them. And the Lord your God will keep you the covenant and the loving kindness, etc., etc. But the, the, the third portion of, of, uh, of the book of, in the book of Numbers begins with the sense of hearing. We had these are the things as an introduction, and then we had uh, we had a, a portion that started with our verbal abilities. Now the third portion is about our hearing, the ability to hear, to listen, be, hearing to the uh, hearing the, 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 these judgments. The fourth uh, portion in the book of Deuteronomy starts on chapter eleven, verse twenty six. And that starts with, behold, I am setting before you today a blessing and a, and a curse. The fourth portion is about beholding. It's about seeing. We had one portion uh, being about our ability to speak. And then we have a portion about our ability to hear. And then we have a portion starting with our ability to see. And depicting a picture about, about our, our existence, our physical existence. And then comes the fifth portion in the book of Deuteronomy, which is our portion this, uh, this week, that starts on chapter 16, verse 18, and says, Officers and judges, you shall appoint in all your gates. Now, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, you know, on one level, just understanding the scripture, is, it's about appointing judges and officers and put them in the, in the gates of the cities, and they have to make, make a judge, just judgment. And it's, it's about maintaining a legal system so that we have a good society. 
But if we look at it deeper and we want to take it you know, to our own personal existence, we may uh, also uh, connect it with the previous portions and saying that officers and judges that we shall appoint in all your gates, we could also read it in the context of the gates of our body. We spoke about our mouth in the second portion of Deuteronomy, the ability to speak. We spoke about the, the ears. That's another gate that we have for things to go in. We have another gate. These are the eyes things that we see and then and then comes the fifth por the fifth portion saying officers and judges you shall appoint in all your gates be very conscious about the things that you allow to go into you either through your mouth or your ears or your or your eyes don't take everything in you have to know how to appoint judges that would say this comes in this doesn't go in this this i will never let to go into me and this shall be this shall be the part of the cleansing process that we are that we should all be now uh, one month before the high holiday season, the beginning of the month of Elul. So I wish us all to be able to cleanse ourselves from everything. And I wish us all to have right officers and judges that will decide what goes in and what stays out. Also, what comes out from our mouth, for example. Judges and officers that will help us eventually cleanse ourselves and stand and stand before our maker in one month's time. Shabbat Shalom.